Number nine, the nine uses for past progressive. You know, so this temporal situation and series of action in the past. When we are talking about progressive, this is about temporal situation. So this is a temporal situation in the past. This is a temporal situation that was going on in the past. So when we are talking about uh, progressive, we are talking about what? Temporal situation. So like a um, series of action in the past. So like example here, at a time, that is a time clause, I was working for a large software company in California. So this was an action that was going on in the past, you know, at that time in the world of me. So that's why it's a temporal situation, you know. At that time, talking about that time, so it didn't have past. You know, it was going on in the past, you know, at this time. At that time, I was working for a large software company in California. All right, guys. Okay, let's go to the next one. Changing and develop situation in the past. When you talk about progressive, you're talking about changing. You know, so we are talking about past progressive, it's about changing, you know. Yeah, so like example here, um, uh, I was getting frustrated with my internet provider, so I decided to change. Of course, I decided to change. So if we are talking about progressing, all progress is about changing. You know what I mean? So there's so changing and develop situation. It's talking about changing, talking about developing. You know, so I was getting frustrated with my internet provider, so I decided to change. You know what I mean? Okay. All right, guys. Let's go to the next one. Eleven. Background information in story, of course, telling uh, stories, you know, background information, you know, something of past, you know, in the past that was going on in the past, you know. So, like, example, yeah, it was raining outside and people were making their way home after work. So, there is uh, action that was going on, in the, this is an action that was going on in the past, you know, so, but it's background information and story, okay. The 12 uses for past progressive. So we also use it in present and future. Talk about the present and the future in second conditional sentences. You know, so in the present, we are talking about the impossible. You know, in the future, we are talking about something that's unlikely to happen. All right. So when we talk about uh, second conditional, we are talking about hypothetical situation, imaginary situation, something that's impossible to happen in the past, in the future, in the present. All right? Okay, guys, let's go. So the formula is going to be if plus past simple plus past continuous tense. So this is the if clause. All right? So now we're going to talk about the main clause. So, the main clause is going to be wool plus bi infinitive. That is the main clause. So, that's why you got to be careful with clauses because we have the main clause and the subordinate clause. So, here we have the if clause and the main clause. And the main clause here is the result. The main clause is the result. So, you see the modal verb there, wool, you know, with bi infinitive. All right? So there is what we gotta talk about, guys. Okay, okay. So, so let's indicate some example here. That when if clause come after the main clause, that's a comma. But when the main clause come after the if clause, there will be no comma. So you gotta take you gotta aware. You no, know, that is important, man. You know, we have that. You know, it's mostly good in written, not in spoken English, but in written because when you write, then you you indicate that comma, then it no, they're gonna give you more max, you know. It's a good recommendation, guys, you know, for the comma. All right. Okay, so um the main clause here is what? Wool plus PI infinitive. There is the main clause. All right. Okay, guys, let's go. Let's do a lot of example here. If she was living in London, if she was living in London, all right, she will she will have English friend. So if she was living in London, that is the if clause. So the main clause gotta be she will have English friend. That is the main clause. That is the result. So if she was living in London, that is the conditional. So the result there is why she will have English friends. That is the condition. That that is the result. The main. That is the main clause. All right. So now let's change. So now we gotta use um, the main clause after the if clause. So this gotta be 
she will have English friends if she was living in London. There is no comma here. So you get aware of this one because the main clause come after the if clause. So that's why if we talk about the main clause, talk about the if clause, talk about the time clause. When they come after the main clause, there's a comma. But when the main clause come after the if clause and the time clause, there will be no comma. All right, this is good for your working guys. Okay, all right, guys. Okay, let's go. If I wasn't going to the club, that is a negative form. If I wasn't going to the club, I will have to tell you. All right, okay. So you gotta see there's a comma here. So now let's change. So now, if I'm saying all right, I will have to tell you if I wasn't going to the club. No comma here. All right, side guys. Okay, get away of this one. All right. So okay, let's go, man. Okay, if plus pass plus if plus pass simple or pass continuous tense. That is the if clause which would plus be a infinity. That is the main clause. That is the result. All right, guys. Let's go. If you we are studying computer science. Would you be happier? All right. So you gotta see there's a comma there. We got the if clause come after the main clause. So the result here is what? Will you be happier? All right. So now let's go. Will you be happier if you were studying computer science? So you gotta see here there is no comma here because the main clause come after the if clause the result come after the conditional all right okay guys let's go if you we are fighting with your boss conditional if clause so what is the result in the main clause what will you do we get to see there's a comma here so now let's change so if we change right now so we gotta see now what will you do if you were fired with your boss so what you do if you are fired with your boss <laughs> your boss just fire you <laughs> all right guys so that's always the hypothetical situation all right don't forget this hypothetical situation so there's much to explain here so this is one of the uses of past progressive so there's a lot of areas a lot of areas we use the past progressive all right so these are just uses man you know this for advanced level guys you know just to know how where when how we use these tenses in different uh scenario guys okay all right guys 14 uses of the past progressive there is 14 guys all right so an event in progress at certain time in the past that is interesting guys you know so here when we talk about past progressive we're going to talk about the time clause and the main clause so here we also going to talk about the time the time clause and the main clause you know so here uh when mom came home that is the time clause so that will say an event in uh progress a certain time in the past when mom came home so let's go to the main clause this is the time clause okay i was doing my homework all right okay let's go to the next one when mom came home you were playing cares so there is the main clause you were playing cares in the main clause when mom came home that is the time clause all right okay guys let's go so we all know that the main clause is the result all right okay guys let's go so this is the question form okay when mom came home was she reading when mom came home was she reading reading a magazine was she reading a magazine so there's a question form okay all right guys let's go when mom came home he wasn't cleaning windows the main class all right he wasn't cleaning windows all right okay guys mom came home they weren't cooking soup all right 13 uses of the past progressive past continuous tense all right so um the present and future so here we gotta use what we call a real time pass so we gotta use a real time pass to talk about the present and the future so when i talk about real time pass 
we have words and phrases that indicate all real time pass. So what are these words? So words after wish, all right? What if? Okay, would, would rather, would sooner, if only, etc. So we have some words that indicate on real time pass. There are a lot of them, you know. But I gotta bring a video to talk about real time pass. It's so interesting, guys, you know. So here we are just trying to talk about the uses of the past progressive, you know, where we use the past progressive. So that's real time pass, all right? Just gonna take it, just try to know the real time pass words, you know. All right, so and phases, words and phases, no what I mean, okay? So sometimes we use the past simple and continuous to refer to present and the future or general situation, all right? So, okay, guys. But here, uh, before we do some example, let's try to talk about was and were. So was, we commonly use it in informal English. Were is used in formal English. All right? Although in this scenario, we break the rules of grammar. You know what I mean? All right? So in, in on real time pass and conditional. You know what I mean? We break the rule, man. Doesn't matter. That is grammar, man. All right? Okay, guys, let's go. Some example like, I wish we were going to the computer fair next weekend. So, I wish we were going to the computer fair next weekend. So, this is the first example using the word wish. So, the subject, you know, the subject, then you can see the real time pass wish. Then, after the wish, you can also see the subject we. We were going. To the computer fair next weekend all right guys let's go if you were traveling to russia will you get rubies before you left or when you arrive there is second conditional so this is not on real time pass this is a second conditional all right okay guys let's go using the past progressive all right what if you were walking down the street then you suddenly found a wallet Will you add it in? So there is a real time pass. You gotta see the real time pass face there. What if? So after what if, then you gotta see the subject you. Then the auxiliary verb were and the main verb walking. So what if you were walking down the street and you suddenly found a wallet? Will you add it in? So this is a real time pass, guys. Okay. So you gotta try to know the difference between the real time pass. And the second conditional. All right? Okay, guys. Let's go. Would you rather or sooner I was begging in the street? So you got to see here. The real time pass there is well. Would rather or sooner? So this is the question form. When you're asking the question form on real time pass. So we're going to bring. I got to bring this topic talking about real time pass. You know, it's an interesting topic. You know, the, here, like the most important, you just need to know the words that indicate a real time pass. You know, so you got to see this word. So the question form is what? Would you rather or sooner I was begging in the street? That is the question form, okay? 